Welcome to the, a walk in the woods in Cork in Ireland with my dog Louis and I'm very glad you've come and it's Sunday morning probably coming up to 11 o'clock in Ireland and we might meet some other people with dogs here and uh, oh Saloon, Saloon Marie, Marie thank you so much for sharing that's very good of you you just never know who might come when somebody shares good morning Marie good morning and good morning to everybody who's watching this and people who might watch it on a replay because at the moment they probably be asleep in the United States well, no, a lot of people on the east coast of the United States would be awake. But of course, people in Ireland and people in the UK and people in France, people in the EU. I'm not in favor of Brexit. So there we are, I'm all in favor of the EU. So that's uh, not why I've come on here. Iceland. Do you know what? I've had very few people from Iceland ever come on a scope. You, do you mean literally, Johnny? Johnny, have you been here before? Greetings from Mandy Zine or Zina from India. How lovely to see you or arrive. Thank you. This little stream flows. I'm walking down along here. This is called Gary Duff Woods in Cork. And in a few minutes, not very long, I gotta collect my daughter who's, who's playing hockey. So, you're, you're, you're so right there, it is a beautiful trail. There are, there are flesh-eating leprechauns. They're the most dangerous creatures that you find in this wood. Yeah, I haven't uh, come across them myself, but there's a strong belief that you could meet a flesh-eating. The name of my dog is is Louie. L-O-U-I-S. Louis. Yeah, the uh, one of the royal family was called after him. Oh, oh, here's some people. Here's some people. Yeah. Okay, Louis. Louis, come here. Come here. Stay here. Hey, Louis. Hello. Hello. Uh, oh, here's another dog. I like to put him on a lead. Come here. Iceland, when you visited, elves were bigger than life. Yes. Tell me, in Iceland, have you ever come across Laxdala's saga? I say this because from my memory, when I read Laxdala's saga, it, I think it was set in Iceland, if I remember rightly, but I could be wrong, it might have been set in Norway, but anyway, it's, a, it's an older. Hello, how do you do? What's the weather? Let me show you the weather. It's sunny and rainy. No, not rainy today. Not rainy today. Today is, look at that. The temperature must be, it must be nine degrees centigrade. It must certainly be nine. In the sun, it might be 10. This is a great place for meeting people with dogs and socializing your dog. This guy's four years old and I think he was training to be a gun dog. Come, oh, come here, Louie. Hello, Hello, good morning. Hi, how are you? Oh, it is fabulous, yeah. really, really. Yeah. What a nice, calm dog. Yeah, at the moment, because he's outdoors. If he's at home now and if somebody came to the gate, he's a brilliant guard dog. Oh. Yeah. He he's, let all, he's all bark, but that's it. But he's very calm. He's never, ever 
He'd be so good when he's out and about. It's just when he's inside the gate, his own house. He's he's actually fantastic because my golden retriever has gone missing up there. Now he'd be down in a sec and he would just be so... He'd give everything away in the house. He'd give you the cushions and blankets and everything. I think this fella would do the same. Yeah. <laughs> Where nobody would get past this guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's lovely. Okay. He's good in the right places. I hope you find the golden retriever. Ah, uh, yeah. All the best. Hi, guys. You have a wild dog like that. Oh, here comes the golden retriever. I don't know if you were able to hear that conversation with that lady. Um, how long is the trail? I could say the trail's as long as you want to make it, but it really is about, um, how long is it? I, I think I could walk for an hour with ease. No problem at all. And it's uphill and then downhill. Well, that's pretty obvious if it's uphill, it has to come down. Yeah, this is a, you love the trail. Well, thank you. Well, it is a great trail. And I think it's especially good because it's got water down there. I didn't get a chance to show you all that much of the water because I was I know, walking along and I thought, ah, it's time to do another live stream on Periscope. I'm somebody who used to do an awful lot of live streams. Do they let you write a site? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. And I came across a guy, I suppose I would call him a mountain biker. Actually, let me just show you something for one second. I just want to show you in here, through this gate, are people playing golf. Can you see that? Oh. oh God, Louis, come here, come here, come here. That's what I get for paying no attention. Lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous. Fantastic, yeah. I never think it was January shoes. I know. It must be 10 degrees or yeah, something. Or more, I'd say. More, yeah. Ah, we better hurry up, Louis. Late. <laughs> okay, come on. Come on. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's probably cold by. Where are you? What country are you in? Uh, come on, you lovely dog. Come on. Are you. Are you in India? Are you the person who's in India? I, I miss that. Oh, you're in Atlanta. You're up early. You're up really early. Atlanta, Georgia. Oh yes, a great place, Atlanta, Georgia. Got that great song, Georgia, on my mind. You've got the golf coming up in the foreseeable future. Well, I suppose it is the foreseeable future. I'm very keen on golf. So I'll be, I'll be spending four days watching Georgia. You spade a good news. To, oh yeah. Are there any butterflies watching? Uh, do you know what? That's a great question to which I don't know the answer. Uh, I don't know if there are any butterfly watching trails here. Of course, there wouldn't be any butterflies at this time of the year, but I'm not strong on butterflies. I love them, but uh, they wouldn't, I wouldn't be much help to you in relation to butterflies in Ireland. Well, I'm not going to introduce that. There, interrupt that little doggy's 
butterfly sunshine. Yeah, great sunshine here today. Exceptional sunshine, I would say. And there are predictions, uh, forecasts, whatever you want to call them, that in February we're going to have a fiercely cold spell, which we haven't had yet this year. falling around the place after myself. So let me just, can I do a rain check? What countries are you from? I know there's somebody here from Georgia in the United States. I hope you're, maybe you're here. How long is the trail? Oh, right. Somebody else asked that question a short while ago. I can certainly walk for an hour without any difficulty along this trail. It's a kind of circular trail, really. Yeah, Atlanta, Georgia. And Canada, where in Canada, please, are you? You're not from the, oh my goodness. Well, you're from the Western tip of Lake Ontario. You've got to go, okay. Thanks for showing this trail. You are terribly welcome, terribly welcome. Goodbye to you. Uh, who's that, Maddie, Maddie. You want to come to Canada, well, there you are. There you are, Robert, you've got a, a taker for Canada. See, the tourist industry in Canada is uh, booming because of Periscope. I wonder if Periscope has really influenced people about where they'd like to go. You could, uh, there you are, Robert, you've got a, a convert for Canada. Robert, by the way, is a really great guy, a really good friend of mine, who I'm hoping will boost the Irish tourist industry in the not too distant future. Yeah, the Irish economy and the Irish uh, sense of well-being would be boosted by the arrival of Robert Neal. Oh, I go this way, yeah. I'd be very welcome. There you are. There you are. Oh, we have here. This uh, scope is sponsored by the Canadian Tourist Board, who are showing the people of Canada off at their best to other countries. So people from Canada go on scopes and they behave in a very uh, welcoming way 